Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your own pictures in Python to match the MIST dataset. So if you trained a neural network on the MIST data and you want to try it out on your own handwriting, here's how. So the packages that I'll need to import are CV2, that's OpenCV, for working on the images, and Matplotlib so we can preview the images here in the notebook. First we need to load the image into notebook, and this is how I like to do it. Make sure you have that R called the rostering prefix in front, otherwise you'll probably get an error. And a quick way to get that file path, uh, navigate to the location of your file, hold shift while you right click, look for copy as path, and then come back to Jupyter and paste that in. Oh, and don't forget to delete these extra quotation marks. Okay, so now that we have the file path, we use OpenCV to create this image object, and I'm using mread grayscale because that's what we want to match the mist data. Uh, but I guess you could also do mread color and then convert it to grayscale. Uh, now let's look at this image before we do anything else to make sure it's right. And this is where matplotlib comes in. So make sure you're using cmap equals gray since we made this into grayscale. And wow, look at that high resolution precision focus. So there are two main differences between what I have right now and the mist data. For one, the mist images are size 28 by 28. And our images need to be that same size because, you know, the neural network is compiled and trained on the basis of, of inputs being 28 by 28 arrays. So we can resize our image. Um, you can also define an interpolation parameter, which is like the math that it uses to resize your image. And I just left it as the default, and that worked for me, but I guess you could try all of them and see if your neural network happens to be more accurate uh, with one uh, interpolation method over another. The second difference is that mist digits are white with a black background, but my image is the opposite, so we need to invert it. I'm sure there are a ton of different ways to do this, but this is the command that I used. Now let's look at this image to make sure it's what we want. There we go, 28 by 28, and the color is inverted. Now you should be able to run this image object in model.predict to test out your neural network. Thanks for watching. You can find the code from this on GitHub using the link in the description. Like and subscribe if this video was helpful, and if there's something you'd like to see in the future, or if you have any suggestions on what I can do better, please let me know in the comments below.